Welcome back. In this video, let's learn how to test custom React hooks with testing library. Once again, to help us get started, I have set up some code behind the scenes. Let me walk you through the changes. In the source folder, I have created a new folder called hooks. Within the folder, I have created another folder called use counter. Within this folder, I have created a file called usecounter.tsx which contains a custom use counter hook. The hook accepts initial count as an optional prop with a default value of 0. The prop type use counter props is defined in usecounter.types.ts. Within the function body, we have created a state variable called count and a setter function called set count using the use state hook. We have defined an increment and a decrement function to increment and decrement the count value by one. Finally, we return count, increment and decrement from the hook. This allows us to call use counter and readily add a counter logic to any component in our application. I hope the code isn't too complex to understand. If it is, please learn about custom React hooks before proceeding. All right, now that we have a custom counter hook, our goal is to write tests for this hook. Let's begin by creating a new file in the same folder. Use counter.test.tsx. At the top, let's begin by importing the render function. In the next line, import use counter. Next, let's add a describe block. The name is use counter, and the second argument is a function. Within the function, we add our tests. For our first test, let's ensure the initial count of zero is rendered. So test. The name is should render the initial count. And the second argument is a function. Within the function, we call render passing in use counter. But when we do that, TypeScript throws an error. But when we do that, TypeScript throws an error. Argument of type custom hook is not assignable to parameter of type React element. Now this is because unlike a React component, a custom hook does not return any JSX. Also, a hook cannot be called outside a function component. So we cannot just ignore render and invoke use counter for our testing. If I save the file, you can see a warning, invalid hook call. Hooks can only be called inside of the body of a function component. Well, if this is the case, how do we test a custom hook? Well, to help us with that, React testing library provides a render hook function. So at the top, instead of importing render, import render hook. In the test, call render hook, passing in use counter. What you should also know is that unlike a regular component, which can be asserted using screen, hooks do not have any DOM elements. Instead, render hook will wrap the hook in a function component, invoke the hook and returns an object from which we can destructure a property called result. So const, result from render hook. On this result, there exists a property called current, which will contain all the return values from the custom hook. So we can now assert expect result.current.count to be zero. Save the file and our test passes. Change zero to one, and our test fails. Expected one, but received zero. 
Hopefully, you've understood the basics of testing custom React hooks. For our next test, let's ensure the hook accepts and renders the same initial count. So test, the name is should accept and render the same initial count. Second argument is a function where we will call render hook. Passing in use counter. And we now have to pass in a prop to use counter. The way to do that is by specifying a second argument to render hook, which is an options object. The object will accept a property called initial props. And here, we can set an object with initial count set to 10. We specify an object because our counter props is an object. Next, we capture the result and expect result.current.count to be 10. Save the file and both the tests are passing. Change it to 11 and the test fails. Our code works as expected. So to summarize, for testing React hooks, we do not rely on render and screen from testing library. Instead, we rely on render hook which returns a result, which in turn contains a current property that has all the returned values of the custom hook. And if you have to invoke the hook with props, you can pass in an options object to render hook with a key called initial props. For our example, we've used a counter hook to verify if the initial count renders as expected. Join me in the next video, where we will write tests to ensure the increment and decrement functions work as expected. I'll see you in the next one.